Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley. Um, I, today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you. This is just going to be my everyday basic neutral eye. Um, this is the look. Basic neutral eye, glowy skin. You know, this is still really good. It's still hot out here and, you know, it's not too much makeup. It's really light. Um, yeah, so if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. I like to start with my eyes first because I feel like when, if you make any mistakes with your eyes or anything, fallout, eyeliner mess ups or whatever, um, that doesn't affect like your face makeup because you haven't done your face makeup first. But anyway, I like to start with um, priming my eyelids. I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I've used this for so long. So I'm just going to put a little bit on each eyelid. Like so. I just take my ring finger and blend that all in. And then I'm using this palette today. It's the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette. And it looks like this. It's broken, so don't mind that. I'm taking the lightest shade in the palette. Well, not the lightest shade, but this shade right here. With the, um, it's a nice transitional shade, so I'm just going to take that with a um, big crease or fluffy blending brush. This one is by e.l.f. And I actually really like it. So I'm taking that color. You have a picture of this one? Yes. Sorry, my husband is in the room with me and he's trying to talk to me. And I just sweep that across my lid. It's hard to do. And then after that, I'll take this shade. right there. Take a little bit of that and sweep that right over that light color. Just like this. This is very easy. And then after that, I'm going to take this color. The reason why I love this palette so much is because you can do a whole eye look with just this palette. I mean, I would use like a different color on the lid part, but for the most part, you can use this whole palette. You don't need anything else. Just sweeping that. Just like that. Do a little bit more. After I do that shade, I'll take this chocolatey darker brown right here, right there, and just kind of put that in the crease. I'm you this time. I'm using like a smaller blending brush. Ooh, that's a little dirty. Smaller blending brush like this, and just kind of define the crease a little bit. I don't do this all the time when like I'm in a rush or anything but for the sake of this video I guess I'll just do it today and that just kind of adds like a little bit of dimension in there same thing on this side So once that's to my liking, I'm going to move on to the lid color. If I want the lid color to be super vibrant, I'll go in and use my NYX um, Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I just take that and kind of go over the lid part where I'm going to put that lighter shade. Do that to both eyes. 
and doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna, uh, excuse me, doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna go back in and blend that with a brush. But you already, you can already kind of see the vision coming together with what I'm trying to do. So I'm just taking this flat eyeshadow brush, looks like that, and I'm going to just blend that out. I feel like this just gives the eyeshadow something to stick to and like me I'm already pretty light so the um the um eyeshadows the light eyeshadows you know this just helps it stand out more and be more pigmented I feel like and there's of course so many other tricks sometimes I use like if I'm really care, like if it's, I'm going somewhere and I really care about my eyeshadow staying and, and really packing on there, I'll spray with a little bit of setting spray, like wet in the brush a little bit, but this is just quick every day. And I'm going in with a shade that I love this palette. I use it almost every day, the Cat Eyes Too Faced palette. And I like to go in with, um this color right here classic <clears throat> there's day classic and fashion I guess this one's the meow it's called meow meow it's really light I don't know if you can see that but I'm just getting some of that on my brush and then I'm gonna pack it right over that milk Just like that. Okay. Then I'll go back with like my blending brush, like this big fat one, and then I'll just blend out like the lines or whatever. So now at this point, if I was going to be wearing eyeliner, I would put the eyeliner on. But I'm not wearing eyeliner because I don't wear um, liquid eyeliner on a daily. So right now... I'm just going to go ahead and put on my mascara. The mascara I like to use is this, sorry, is this um, Maybelline Lash Sensational Eyeliner. I mean, mascara. Okay, so for the sake of time, I went ahead and I popped those lashes on. So now I'm going to be moving on to my face, and I'll come back to my eyes at the end. I'm taking um, just a makeup wipe, makeup remover wipe, and these are the ones by Neutrogena. They are my absolute favorite, like, holy grail makeup remover wipes. I'm just going to be removing, like you can see, I got some mascara down here, right here. Now, you don't really need a huge makeup wipe to do that, but I'm just going to keep this out just in case I need it okay so next step I'm going to be doing um, my foundation um, actually I'm gonna prime first um, I prime using this um, NYX primer and this is the photo loving primer and I like this a lot it feels like silk in your hands and on your face I take like a little pea size not too much I just I feel like I don't need too much so I take that about that much distribute that all over my face and now for my foundation I'm using my holy grail foundation I love this foundation this is the MAC studio fix fluid and my color, my shade is NC, I don't know if you can see that, NC15. Um, for like when I'm lighter, I use this one and then I'll go back and forth between this one and NC20. So I'm taking this Morphe brush, it's 
really good brush. I love this. And I believe it was like $4. It's the Morphe G1. You know what's funny is when I'm showing the products to you, I'm thinking it's backwards. So, sorry about that. So I took a little bit of that product on the brush. I'm going to just stipple it all around my face. I might have used too much. Oh well. Distribute that all around the face. I like to bring the foundation down my neck just to blend that because nobody likes that, you know, line. Ooh, girl, look at that neck. Get it, get it. Anyway, I like this um, foundation because it just gives me such a flawless, flawless. <laughs> Flawless matte finish. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it, girl. So once I'm done doing that, I like to take my beauty blender, my damp dampened beauty blender, and just blend in all those, like if there's any lines or any areas that need to be blended in a little bit more. I like to get around my mouth really well. My nose. What, baby? What, baby? What, baby? Oh, the cat. So anyway, um, after our, I think I said I was blending, um, I like to do my concealer. And the one I'm using is my favorite MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This one. And I take that usually on my beauty blender. Take this as like a little drop. Let's see. Ugh, like that much. See that? Not much. I don't like to do too much, especially on the days when I'm not trying to do too much makeup. I do like a couple dots under my eyes. And if I have leftovers, I'll just put that on my forehead or my nose. Okay. And then I go ahead and blend that all in just to brighten up the eye area. Brighten up that eye area a little bit. And if you hear something in the background, my son's playing a game. <laughs> okay, so once all my concealer is blended out, I like to take this. Powder, I know a lot of people have heard of it. It's the Aerospun Translucent Powder. And this runs for about mm, $6 at like Walmart or something. And you know what? I got to say that I think I'm going to stop using this because I used to use it all over my face, on my forehead, on my nose, on my cheeks, on my head, but I feel like it separates my foundation all weird. So it'll look really patchy and dry. And I don't like that. So I think I'm just going to use this to bake underneath my eyes from now on. Just a little. And keep in mind, like when I'm doing this every day, it goes a lot faster than this. So, obviously. Okay, set. <laughs> Once that's on there. Now we're going to move on to, if I feel like filling in my eyebrows that day, then I'll go ahead and this is when I fill in my eyebrows. What I use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer, and this one is in chocolate. What I like about this is it has like a little spoolie, so then I just, you know, brush my little hairs. And it's very quick. I don't like to spend a lot of time, like, especially on the days when I'm, like, on the go. I just fill in the parts where I feel like they're bald. As you can see, I'm doing, like, light strokes. And for some reason, this eyebrow is shorter than this eyebrow. So I have to kind of create, like, a little tail.
See that? And I don't like to mess with the front of my eyebrows too much, otherwise it looks too thick and too, I don't know. Hey! Okay, so I filled in my eyebrows. Now's the time where I'd go, um, I guess, dust off my bake. Um, I like this brush that I recently just got. This is Equitools Full Powder Brush. So then I'll just dust that off. Just like that. And, um, I guess do my contour. And highlight. And blush. Okay, so I'm using this color by Hula. This color by Hula. This color Hula by Benefits. Anyways, um, so then I'll just take this angled brush. And I think this is by... It's a sculpting brush by Real Techniques. The Salmon, Salmon Nick ones. Uh, I think those are the girls from Pixie Woo, right? Yeah. Anyway, um, so then I'll just, like squeezing my face like do a little fisher and you, I can already see where the hollows of my cheeks should be so then I just kind of follow that and just blend it to how I like it I don't spend a lot of time you know sculpting it or making it perfect or whatever Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes, 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 add a little bit more product on there, and as you can see, I love Hula, I've been using it for years, I've hit pan on this one, and I got this for Christmas, so like a year ago, and it lasts pretty long, I guess you can say. Yes, honey, bronze up face. And I'm like, love, love bronzer. <laughs> okay. Okay, so once that's done, now we're going to do who? So then I guess I'll just take this and kind of blend that out a little more. We're going to do our blush now. Okay, so the blush that I'm using is MAC. Um... I don't even know what this is called anymore because it's, wait, hold on, let me see. Warm Soul. MAC Warm Soul. I look like this. Shimmery, kind of shiny, beachy, corally, I don't know. Really pretty. I'm taking this blush brush that I always use for whatever reason. This is the Maybelline brush. Blush brush. Uh -oh. Smile. Okay, so once that's all done, I'm like super hyper today, you guys. It's going to be a good day. The sun is shining. It's just very pretty outside. Okay, so once that's done, I am going to go back and finish my eyes. I like to do like one more coat of mascara, just a little tiny, but just like blend my real lashes with the fake ones. See right there, cover that up with some mascara. And then I'll do the bottom lashes sometimes, I guess. Okay. And if I'm feeling extra, <laughs> I'll take my Holy Grail eyeshadow palette. And you can see that I've used this to the max. Anyway, I'll just use like some little eyeshadow brush and I'm taking this color that you can't even see on camera if I try to show it to you. Why is there tape stuck to that? Um, it's uh, here, right here. I'll show you that one, which is barely anything left, but that's okay because I only need it for the inner corners and this is only if I'm feeling extra because the shit is about to be gone. See that? 
Oh, you're so stupid. Under the brow. All right, so after that's all done, I'm gonna spritz my face with this lovely e.l.f. Um, Matte Magic Mist and Set. This was $4, you guys, you can't beat that. I mean, I've used the MAC Fix Plus, I've used the Urban Decay Slick, whatever, D-Slick. Um, and this, to me, works just as good. So, couple sprays. And, and I know the moment you've all been waiting for. I am now going to do my um, highlight. I like this palette a lot. Come on, come on, focus. It won't. Anyway, this is the, maybe if I hold it back here, Nicole Guerrero. Uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, and I'm taking the color with this brush, my Real Techniques, what is this called? Setting brush? Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm taking Forever Lit, because we are forever lit. Oh my god, stupid camera won't even do this justice. Stupid. Stupid. Anyway, you can see it right now. Look at this. Ooh, honey. Yeah. So I have this one, and then I have the sun. What is it called? Sun something? Oh, it's right here. Sun dipped glow kit. See, this one shows up. But I like to use this one a lot. It's the Forever Lit. And, like, no doubt, I'll go in and I'll mix and create my own. Because... We're just that cool. Just kidding. There we go. Anyway, it looks a lot. Oh, okay, there we go. Put some on the tip of my nose. Cupid's bow. And the forehead. And if that gets a little crazy, then I go and I take... Um, just like a fluffy brush and I just kind of like just blend, 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 but you can see that. Okay, last but not least, actually not last but not least, but I'm just going to put a gloss on because I don't feel like doing a lipstick. Um, this is Paper Lantern uh, Matte Cream Sheen Glass. Is this a lip glass? Okay, so yeah, we're just going to put this on. Okay, one last spray. <laughs> so this is the finished look. This video is really fun for me to make. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment down below. Um, I plan on putting more out in the future. So yeah. Um, Thank you for watching. Have a good day.